Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarland Toys Kickstarter Spawn. Not doing a normal unboxing, uh, just because everybody and their mother has an unboxing video out, you know, for this this toy, and it would take an hour, and I mean, you know, people have done it better than I would, so uh, not gonna go through all that. Just wanna talk about the figure a little bit in general, talk about some of the controversial aspects, you know, that people had issues with. Um, so I just want to just dive right in. So obviously this Kickstarter spawn, this is an anniversary remake of this original spawn, uh, which I have the, the shoelace face variant here. I don't have the original um, masthead, um, but I have this one because the shoelace face is my favorite. Uh, that's why I, I'm, I've got the, the modern variant here. I got the three pack because I wanted the big boot and the big uh, gauntlet. And I wanted shoelace face real bad. So I gave the classic version to a friend, keeping the artist proof for later. But anyway, back to my point, which is this is a remake of the very first Spawn figure that they made. What would you say if you were to look at this toy? What is the most prominent feature? Oh, well, it's probably this giant cape, this huge gatefold sort of cape um, that wraps around him and is very prominent. Obviously, that's what they went for here, this huge cape. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's exactly, I think, what they wanted to do. You know, it has the same sort of functionality where it moves, and it's a modernized version. It looks really great. But it is a big, cumbersome cape, um, you know, which is, you know, if you get any spawn figure almost any spawn figure they all have these giant pre-molded capes that are are basically you know limit what the the figure can do um which is i mean that's that's what spawn is you know we can talk about this mortal Kombat spawn which everybody really loves and it's a great figure but that ain't a spawn cape y'all like that is not a spawn cape this is a spawn cape this is a spawn cape Go look at any Spawn figure they release. They all have a giant pre-molded cape, uh, you know, that limits, like, what you could really do with it. Even the one that came on that cross that he can, he's more articulated, quote-unquote. No, it's it's not more articulated than this, honestly. But, so the cape does limit as far as, like, you're most likely going to have this guy in just a standing pose. Okay, I can deal with that. You know, that that's just part of it. It's a remake of this one. It's not Ultimate Spawn with whatever, you know, uh, it's, it's a remake of this. Okay. So let's just, you know, let's operate from that. Let's like temper sort of, uh, what we expect this figure to be able to do just because it's got this huge prominent feature. Now, a lot of people are mad because the Kickstarter said, oh, the cape was going to be removable and stuff. I, and I, and I get it if you're mad about that. I really do. Um, but that was a, you know, Making toys is a process, and I, I any any toy, pick any toy out, and I guarantee somewhere along the you know developmental stage, they wanted to include something and then couldn't, or you know something got you know things got dropped along the way. That's just how it goes. If you're really upset about that, I, there's nothing I can say to change your mind, but um, that that's just you know part of the process. We got to see behind the curtain um, a little bit because of the Kickstarter. They were trying to keep us informed along the way of the development and whatnot some of the stuff didn't make it another thing that didn't make it that they were trying to do was a rubber torso um, like they've been doing with the multiverse line that didn't make it either um and, and a lot of people are because because it doesn't have one 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 piece of articulation that they expected um they're calling this a statue which is just clown shoes if anybody's calling this a statue, it has not been paying attention to what McFarlane's been doing, like with this multiverse line that you can see back there. These things aren't statues anymore. Like, that complaint is from 1998. These things aren't statues. I mean, this this guy basically has, without even having the ab crunch, he's he's got more um, range than most of these guys have with the ab crunch like he's got an ab crunch and eh, that's not a, that's not much of a crunch to me and then you know the other part of that is like look at this torso 
next to this one. You tell me you can't see why he didn't put that ab cut right there. That looks so good, unbroken like that. It looks great. Look at that huge shadow, huge gap. It's nice. I mean, I this Mortal Kombat spawn is awesome. This looks 10 times better. Easily. Easily. Don't tell me it doesn't. And then another big, actually, speak while we're talking about this torso. A lot of people were calling him Scoliosis Spawn because he's got this slight, you know, this shoulder is kind of up a little higher. But really, like, when you look at him from the side, look, just put him at a three-quarter angle. You can't even tell. You can't even tell. Is everybody crying about pre-posed pre -posed torso? Get out of here. What? Oh, we're mad that he's like actually got a little bit of body language when he's just standing there, which is what he's going to be doing anyway because he has this huge cape. Come on, guys. Let's let, like just be real. You know, I, under, I understand the desire to be hyperbolic to communicate a concern, but that's just phony baloney. You know, for me personally, worse than the head is is the way they did it a couple some or worse than the torso is some of these heads that they did with no uh, articulation and it's very like you know what i mean that's that head doesn't move this came with an alice simmons head that does move this doesn't move at the neck you're basically stuck with uh well it, it moves but it's sculpted in such a way that it's you it's prohibitive just think about who we're dealing with mcfarlane are we so, where are we really so surprised that he made a choice that benefited the look over the articulation? Are we really surprised that Todd McFarlane of all people did that? No, no, we're not surprised. That's what he that's what he does, and that's why this looks so good. Tell me this doesn't look better than anything else at this price point. And like, if you like, tell me, tell me that it doesn't, because you're out of your mind. If sixty dollars for a figure. What's that comparable to an import? Okay, is it, here's an import. Does that look better? No, no, it doesn't. Look at him. Look at his arms and stuff. No, it doesn't look better. Here's an import. Does this look better? It's good sculpt paint. No, look at the look at look at how ugly these are. These articulation points. Does this look better? No, no, it doesn't. Look at this paint. Are you kidding me? If, if there really is an import for a $60 price range that looks better than this, I, I mean, I want to see it. Maybe I'm forgetting. Maybe I'm not thinking about something. Maybe maybe I'm overlooking something. But, I mean, Mezco doesn't look better than this. They're not even an import. They're, they're, they're more expensive. And they're like this big. So... So if you're, I, if you're calling this a statue, it just, I, I you know, it makes me very certain of the fact that you've kind of been sleeping on McFarlane lately and you're not really actually aware of, of what they're capable of doing. Well, while we're just talking about the articulation, like this Mortal Kombat spawn, he's got double elbows. He's still, because of his sculpt, he can't lift his arm up more than that. So this spawn has single elbows that have the same range, basically. You know what I mean? They Like, they... The other one has double elbows, but it still can't lift its arm up any higher than that. And these elbows have rotation too. Are you kidding me? That's so much better than a double elbow with uh, that can't actually even reach up. Like you can't answer the phone. Packaging, accessories. You, you know, if you've seen anybody else unbox them, you know what this guy came with. It's off the hook. The packaging is like the only thing even close is like Mezco and that's Mezcos are more expensive. Uh, so, so just in terms of value, appearance, functionality, you guys are being way too hard on this thing. You guys clearly have like a hard on against Todd for like issues from 20 years ago, you know, just like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. And I'm not going to change your mind and I'm not really going to lose any sleep over that, but. But I, you know, just wanted to chime in and, and give you a, a more measured, less hyperbolic point of view. So, uh, you know, if if you agree with what I what I say, if you don't agree, I I, I want to hear it. Like you tell me what what do you think about where do you really come down on this this figure? Because I, I mean, 
I, I, I really truly haven't seen a figure better than this in a long time for the price point, uh, for value, for what it came with. Uh, and, and that's, that's the truth. That's, that's my real perspective. Um, but, but I, I want to hear your take. You let me know. Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you have to wait a long time like I did? Yeah, that's Kickstarter for you. Uh, all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.